Well, Greenville Museum, dedicated to preserving the contributions of African Americans, was closed due to COVID and has remained closed for almost three years. But thanks to a coalition of people and resources, the doors will soon reopen to area students and the general public. Fox Carolina's Arthur Mondale got an exclusive look at what's been happening behind closed doors and the timeline with this. Well, yeah, I did get my look today. As for the rest of you, about six months. After a break, some say that was too long. The Reneville Cultural Exchange Center is a museum that served as a focal point for education and community activism. And the beacon is coming back. That's me. Ruth Ann Butler is a former teacher turned curator who often enjoys flipping through her yearbook. That desk is right now. Get out of here. <laughs> Number 25. Butler didn't misspeak. She attended Sterling High School with Jesse Jackson and even worked on two of his presidential campaigns in the 80s. I was on both. But Reverend Jackson isn't the only standout you'll learn about within this Victorian style property Butler owns on Greenville's Arlington Avenue. If it's to be found, I will find it. <laughs> I have found everything that anybody needs. First opened in 1987, exhibits feature timelines and archives on black pioneers in law, entertainment, health care, and the military. Everyone. But the space wasn't just for learning. It was also a space for congregating. Both activists and school children walked these steps and halls. I used to have one coming through the back door and one leaving out there. <laughs> Change is wonderful and we love progress, but if we don't acknowledge and embrace uh, where we came from, then we are short-sighted. Protecting the history of the past and pouring into the future. Kind of like the, the gem that's in our own backyard, and we have to be the stewards of that now. The Urban League's Dr. Gail Awan is the chair for the new board of directors for the Greenville Cultural Exchange Center. In addition to new board members, the center also has a new investor. We can dream it. And then we can also build it. James Jordan is president of Jordan Construction Company with a footprint in multiple industries. Our primary sectors are government, health care, and uh, education. Uh, we do a little bit of commercial retail and are moving into the multifamily space. But in the state of South Carolina, we're working on almost every major military base. It's fitting the general contractor and real estate redevelopment is now going to help a place of activism. Work to get everything in the property beautified. So we're going to do the renovation of the property and um, really take a jewel that she's created and uh, shine it up. Jordan estimates it will take six months, but an investment that honors the pioneers and gives hope to the generations after. A symbol of empowerment, encouragement. There's something you said. You said it's a calling. The only way we are going to be closed is if I'm six feet under. Do you remember telling the newspaper that? You know the <laughs> I want to say fierce protector. She is a fierce protector. The museum will begin the process of renovations. Volunteers are welcome to support the archiving effort. If you are interested in preserving history, we have that information on our website. And both college and school children can volunteer. Arthur Mondale, Fox Carolina News.